I have exactly 24 hours to play Rust. And this is my story. With such a short amount of time to play, you guys might be wondering why even bother? But I've been really excited to play some Rust again, and I just want to play some solo, so here I am. You guys also seem to really love my recent solo series where I tested a popular base design, and I realized that this was the perfect time that I could test out a smaller, but more efficient and accessible base that could be helpful for all of you out there that don't have countless hours to put into the game. A simple, cheap, but really effective, high storage solo base with a sturdy offline rate cost, built by Temple Tabs. So make sure you check him out and send him some love, he really deserves it. And if you guys want to see me stress test some more builds, let me know in the comments which ones. And let me take you now to the start of my story. Oh shit, airdrop. And that first military crate that cascaded into one of my most exciting solo journeys ever. Right, hopefully I can get some stuff for a weapon here. Before throwing down the signal, I wanted a weapon to defend myself. So I ran Lighthouse for some quick components. I'm not really sure what the play is here. I really want to throw that signal, but I don't really have any way of defending myself right now. I might go to Outpost. After recycling, I had enough resources for some tier 1 weapons. And for that, I need a workbench. So I headed to Outpost. Bro, did I just get five wood from that tree? I just got scammed. That's better. Outpost, here I come. Okay, I'm gonna go crossbow and I think nail gun. I'm gonna buy some frags, craft a nail gun. That should be good to defend the airdrop. Nice. Hey! Hey, hey, hey. Do, do you got any food? Nah. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thanks, anyway. Aww. You have some food. <laughs> oh, this guy's so wholesome. Alright, I'm ready. Ready to look for somewhere to build. In the safety of darkness, I ran, with all of my resources, to look for the perfect base location. Gunshots everywhere, military tunnels just to the east. This sounds like the place for me. I don't normally build in the desert, but uh... It's always time for something new. It's about time I made a change. We'll see how it goes. The cover of night would be the perfect chance to conceal my airdrop, so I threw it down on the ground. And while waiting for it to land, I went to greet my neighbour who was active. Did I see a box there? Bro. There's no way he just opened his door. Oh my god. It's all open. It's easy. Oh, shit. Oh, I think I'm sealed. What the fuck? I'd spent so much time going deep that the airdrop had to be close to landing. I F1 killed and spawned at my base. Come on, I hope it hasn't landed. Oh, perfect timing. Uh, oh no, I can't even make the ogre. Oh god. There's a Hazzy over there. He's eyeing me. I'm gonna have to use the airdrop as cover here. Oh, I might be able to get it. Please give me a gun. Ah, it'll do. 
no I'm too HP. Oh. I can't heal. No. Oh come on. I think I killed them both. Please stand up. Please stand up. Fuck. Oh I've got a timer. There's no way there's someone farming right next to these bodies. I genuinely don't think he sees them. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Please be unleashed. <gasps> okay, that's a miracle. Today is... Never mind. Oh my god, what is going on? Have I really just pulled that off? Naked Yoka to that? Holy... After the dust settled and I got my breath back, I realized just how bad I felt for my neighbor who I'd gone deep on. I tried reaching out, but I couldn't find him. If he's watching, I'm sorry, but your sacrifice led to one of my greatest wipes ever. I really can't believe I took that guy's base. In the heat of the moment, I was just like, fuck it, seal, I need it. But like, this guy was loaded. And he's obviously pretty new. Damn, I feel kind of bad. Nah, he's gone offline on battle metrics. That sucks. Come back, I wanted to give his base back, but I get the impression he might not be. Oh well. His sacrifice I will make the most of. <laughs> you know what this means? I can finally title my video My Fastest Solo Start in 5000 Hours. Okay, that's a joke, that's a joke. I know how rough the algorithm is. You, you can't afford to be original with titles nowadays. Yo, what's a car? Oh! Oh my god, I thought he was gonna run me over. Ooh, someone's doing mill tons. Oh, I just fired a circle of bullets around him. Ooh, that's a real LR. Okay. Oh, that was a clean triple. Easy, Ella. Oh, I think that's him. Oh, thank God he outed himself. Home sweet home. What a good run. Smoothest starts I've had. I think I'm ready to do mill tons. Twenty-four hours is not a long time, and I wanted to pack in as much as possible. So just under an hour in, I was ready to do mill tons. Someone's taking it. Oh, C4, let's go. 
Okay, that's a rocket. That's good. Ah, that was meh. Two rockets. Nice. So I had successfully run the military tunnels, just over an hour in. There was much more on my checklist left, and not much time to do it. Oil rig, cargo, MLRS raids, and I still of course needed to build my new base. Once again in the cloak of darkness, I threw down my airdrop. I need to watch out for my neighbour in that little 2 by one Oh, despite me sparing him just two minutes before, another neighbour thought it was a good idea to try and kill me anyway. Unfortunately for him, I got something rather special in that airdrop. Alright, what are we gonna get? Oh, another C4. Oh dear. That poor neighbour. I now had two C4, enough to raid the 2 by one he was living in. But before doing that, I ran to launch site to check in on the ruins of Bradley. I just spotted someone in there. Yo, how did I miss that? You ready? Oh, that was clean. Oh, man. That was clean as fuck. Alright. I'm gonna raid the neighbor now. He deserves it. Biting me in the ass. I had no idea what gear my neighbour had, or whether he was in his base, so I gambled. Okay, let's give this guy an online. Alright, let's see what he's got. Okay, good comps, I needed that. Oh, I left my incense shell as a base. I need to run back before I can take TC. Fuck! I can't believe I forgot that. Oh wait, I had the incense on me! Oh my, I'm such an idiot. No, dude. Oh, because I didn't realize I had the incense on me. The area around me had become pretty hot, so I did some roaming before finishing the TC off later. Oh, what is this guy doing with all that loot? I'm gonna take that to Bandit. Let's see what I can buy with all this stuff. He's still going. This guy is crazy. Okay, that was a really needed run. I'm almost ready to build my base, actually. I could do it with maybe a little bit of farming, but I can't be bothered. What have we got? Oh my gosh, this got a lot of scrap. 700? Easy. Worth the 2C4. Oh, I'm running out of storage fast. By this time, I'd yet to do any farming at all. If I wanted to do the raids that I planned, I was gonna need to farm some sulfur. Ooh, 
I love the custom. I feel like it's such an underrated gun. This thing shreds. Okay, I'm very nearly ready to build the base, actually. Getting the first metal kick into the way. Yo, what? Someone's raiding with the rockets. Oh, thank god that had to reload. I'd be a dead man. Oh, hello you. Oh, someone else is coming as well. I'm gonna pretend that I don't see that guy because he looks very good. I'm gonna let him push up. I'm gonna make him think that I'm just looking at this guy over here. Oh my god, he's LR as well. He's coming. He has no idea right now. Easy. Thank you for the kit, good sir. I got wolf. I got that wood. It's time to build. I'm excited to build it actually. It's a very uh, cute base. Interested to see how it how it serves me. With even more loot secured and no room to put it, it was finally time to build the Temple Taps Chad Shed, a high efficient, cozy two by one. I was looking forward to testing it out. I'm gonna build up here. This looks perfect. I don't think I need any more footprint space. So, it's not massively different from a normal 2x1. I just find like the changes really, really unique and just kind of nice. So, half walls down here. This allows for extra four large boxes than a normal 2x1 would have. Now, he uses a single door here, which I'm going to build. Now, personally, I would prefer to put another garage door there, but hey. First run successful. I have a lot of components. I need to recycle at some point. Another round. Alright, let's make this all metal. That way we'll be at least seven rockets. The base so far seemed to be perfectly catered for my needs, requiring very little farm to upkeep and build, while having lots of storage for all the kits I planned to steal. Got to skin the furnaces first. I also love that he uh, puts the furnaces in this little uh, drop down here. It's a very neat way of getting lots of furnaces in. That will later be a vending machine. Actually, I might as well just build the vending machine now. Right, 
Alright, so this is what I'm doing a little bit different to him. Because I don't need another three furnaces, I'm making this a raised foundation. This is where my locker will be. I'm not sure if he uses a locker in his build, but I think it's important. The base was complete, and the next thing on my checklist was oil rig, but for that, I would need the cards. Oh, I'm building that base next wipe, for uh, any of you guys that recognize it. It's the one I'm going to be testing. Oh, but doesn't look looted, which is good. I hate when you run this far and it's already looted. It's painful. Hey. Water treatment, here I come. After this slight detour. So that's good. I mean, the red will probably be here. I think puzzles respawn rates are way too slow, man. The amount of times you run so far for it to be looted. Like, I swear, wipe day, it's almost impossible to, like, run green cards like sewer. Like, they're just always looted. It makes it so hard to just progress using puzzles, unless you're joining, like, day seven. That guy tanked a lot. Okay, red card secured. With the red card now acquired, it was time for oil rig. I grabbed the diving equipment and started a long journey east. I haven't run rig on this channel in ages. is going to be handy. Okay, I'm going to leave him here. Let's go and hope I don't die. This shit is honestly so easy with an actual good gun. The amount of times I take rig with a saw and it's scary as shit. for some good elite crate loot. I always get such shit luck. Bro, I do not remember there being this many scientists. What the hell? This is small rig as well. I think that's it. Here we go! Come here, big boys. 
wonder how many M2 guys we'll have. Bro, this shit is too easy. There should be one more. Aha! Easy. Heavy loot is one thing I've always been unlucky on. Let's see. Yep. Pretty shit. Uh, got Bambo. Nice. I actually don't think I've ever had a tier 3 weapon from a heavy before. Bro. Bro! Scammed. Look at that view, though. Yo, this is so cool. Oh! Now, this was some pretty surprising luck for me. If you guys know my channel, you know I tend to get shafted by the loot tables. The attachment for the MLRS system also meant that I was one step closer to doing some big raids. Homebound, here I come. Thank god my horse is still here, that would suck. Successful oil run, done. It was starting to get pretty late, and about six hours into my gameplay, I was getting ready to head off for the night. I wanted to do some final farming and base upgrades before I went to sleep. Bro! The reach! There's actually only a little bit more to build, and the base is pretty much complete. I just need to do the honeycombing. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't actually watch the video this far because I kind of just figured I'd work out what he did here. So I'm just assuming the honeycomb's like this. I can't think it would have been any different. Uh, but yeah. I think he does it like this. My first night and around six hours of gameplay was complete. By the time I'd slept fully and got back on Rust the next day, it was likely that already 18 hours would be over, which meant I only had about 6 hours to get the rest of my wipe done. Okay, let's just pray that I don't get offline. That would be very sad. Alright. With just over six and a half hours left until I gotta go. No more rust for me for a couple of days, which is sad, but uh. Is someone doing Milton's? Or have they already done it? Oh my! What is that guy doing? Oh well, free kit to start the day off. That guy is very good. Oh, I've got him. Yeah, he's not got a chance, poor guy. This furnace is going. It wouldn't be a full wipe without running the train tunnels at least once. And there was a chance I'd find someone pretty looted as well. Oh, bandits, that is good. Oh, these guys are so much easier to kill than normal scientists. 
Feels good. Bro, I should be running trains more often. It's actually such a good way to get scrap and comps. Satchel. I would say the only drawback of trains is the heart attack you get every time you leave the stations. This is headshot ASMR right now. Hope I don't get camped. Wait. What are the chances of someone being on it as I cool it down? That's fucking weird. Okay, I think we're good. Home sweet home. I currently had two MLRS rockets. To do a big raid, you would need at least six, which meant running more military tunnels. Oh my gosh, LR is so OP, man. I love it. So you're gonna run out of ammo. Maybe not. Ooh. Okay, that's a rocket. That's good. Uh, hopefully, I get a second one. Ooh, another ATX. Handy. Oh, let's go, another rocket. Bro, I got like a full gear set from this run. That's crazy. Think I'm good? Maybe? Scared me. Yeah, quite a lot on him. I don't know why he didn't have the star in his hot bar though. Kind of. I'm too rich for my own good right now. Ah, looks like he lives in that base right there. might be coming up. Oh, I should go and get ladders. Oh, oh that guy just got screwed. I'm gonna go grab a ladder. I gotta be really quick. I don't know what his time is like. Oh, that's a lot of scrap. Thank you. I might come back with a Spaz 12. Please tell me he's not. There's no way he just spawned in. 
the timing. No, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. If I was like three Fox seconds earlier. I'm sure he said something very nice. I feel at this point, a lot of you are probably screaming at me because my boxes are so unorganized. So for the OCD out there, it was time to do some base organization. I have so much loot, considering I haven't really farmed at all. Another C4. Oh, guy is not happy. He puts lockers in the video, so I'll put them down. I placed some flank sleeping bags with spare kits in case I was getting raided. You never know when they might come in handy. While chilling in my base, I noticed that cargo was out. This was finally my chance, the first time the cargo had been out and I was ready to take it. I didn't have a boat, and so I just had to head over there and hope I could swim out to the sea. Ah! Fucking Tokyo Drift bear out here. Am I gonna make it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's coming. Come on. Please let me get on. No. Bro, fuck this game. I didn't even get a chance to get on it. What? It didn't even let me press E. No. Okay, I'm sad. I'm I'm really sad. Oh, someone's just been murdered. Oh, I just witnessed an execution. <laughs> Instant karma for that guy, though. Oh, fuck, man. That's the first time I've died in ages. While roaming, a new neighbor had built up quickly and I'd noticed him flying minicopters in and out of his base. He didn't have any real way of protecting them, so the plan was simple. Take my blue and red, steal the minicopter, and fly straight to oil rig. This guy popped out of nowhere. I don't see him. There he is. Go, 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 go! Thank you for the mini. 750 scrap I don't have to spend. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> oh, that was sick.
I'm just gonna clear the top floor so that if anyone counters, they have to deal with scientists. Here we go! Oh. Oh, I forgot to move my mini. Oh no! No! <laughs> I did a lot of damage. Ow. Bro, lots of M2s. Lots of M2s. Bro! They're all M2. Okay, shit loot. Meh. Nah. Bro. Bro. Scammed. Now we wait. Oh, Another, Another C4. C4. In Rust, 2C4 is the magic number. Enough to get through a stone wall and lead to all types of great loot. Thank god there was another mini here. And I had just the neighbor in mind who I was gonna throw it at. Right, I'm gonna fuck with the guy I stole the mini from for sure. Shame I run out of low grade. Looks like I'm on foot. That's, that's him for sure. Oh, is he gonna steal my horse? Oh, what an animal. He had two large furnaces running, all inside his stone furnace base. And I just didn't have the time to do my own farming. So I knew exactly what to do with my 2C4. Am I doing this? Am I gonna online this, this guy's furnace base? Yeah, go on. I got balls. Screw it. Pretty sure he's inside. Hopefully he's in his main and not the furnace base. Screw it. One satchel for TC, 2C4 for the furnaces. I just gotta kill him once and I should be good. Here we go. Oh, doors open. Oh my gosh, that's loaded. Nice, fast satchel. Thought I heard him. I'm not gonna be able to replace the TC because of his main base. So I'm just gonna get out of here. Fucking run! Easy. Right, I'm gonna run back. Oh, poor dude. Ooh, Jackie. Well, that was smooth as fuck. All that loot plus a kit. Oh, I don't know how I'm alive. The plan had been successful, and I'd taken all of his metal and a kit from him. He was going to be pretty annoyed at this point. Unfortunately, I hadn't been able to seal his furnace base. That might have pushed him over the edge. I'm for sure going to raid this guy with the MLRS. Give him the online he wants. I'm feeling, 
a little vulnerable right now. That guy's probably out to rape me, so I'm uh, honeycombing more. Thing is, this might be a small base, but it's actually pretty tanky, so I feel okay. Now I knew this guy had a lot of gear, and he would be the perfect target for my MLRS rockets. I'd need two more to do any sort of damage to his base, so I ran mil tons one more time. Alright, give me two rockets, that's all I need. Okay, that's one, that's good. And that's two, perfect. Do I get a third? Nah. Airdrop though. Shit! Come on. Dead. And by none other but the neighbor. Luckily, I knew where he had to go to get back with my loot. So I went to go cut him off. That was my neighbor. Oh, there's the horse. I can wait here. Feels bad, but give me my loot back. I need those rockets so I can come blow up your base. Oh man, I'm excited. I've never used this shit before. He is gonna be so mad. Oh my, wow! We are neighbors. What a fucking surprise. <laughs> uh, that's a that's a that's a really cool base you have here, I mean, I like hey, it. Thank you. It's it pretty comfy. new. It is, it's awesome. Well, yeah, I started, I don't know, like two hours ago, and you a little wow. bit my only problem yet. <laughs> yeah, sorry, but I've just been fucking around, sending shit at you. Wanted to give you an online, so yeah, yeah. went to your furnace base. Yeah, but I, yeah, I watched but like, the fuck, I was like, how the fuck did you yeah, get Yeah, you took away, ages so... to get back, I was really confused. I thought you were in I, your base I forgot at the to time, but... I didn't close the door, didn't nah, I? Nah, yeah. I guess I'll see you around. Yep. He seemed like a cool guy, and I wanted to give him an online. Nothing more exciting in Rust than an online raid, so I was still set on smashing his base with the rockets. I'd never done this before, so it was going to be a learning experience. I also knew I didn't have the boom to fully raid him. I was going to have to rely on him opening doors and panicking in the fight to get to his main loot. I'm not going to be able to craft too many explosives, but I'm not going to lie, he seems like the kind of guy that's going to have a lot of garage doors, so I've probably got no chance, but oh well. Alright, I think I'm almost ready. And now, with as much boom as I could craft, I was ready to head to the military camp. Let's do it! Set the target. Where is it? Where is it? Aha! Oh, baby. Okay, looks good. I think I'm ready to lift off. Oh, here they come! <laughs> Let's go! Here he comes. Oh. Let's go, go, go! Unfortunately, the rockets weren't a direct hit, and it smashed open his compound and his main entrance. There was one hatch that looked promising, so I threw some satchels and hoped for the best. Uh, two duds, bruh. Oh. Yeah, I 
knew he'd have a garage door. That's not ideal. Just gotta wait. Oh! Fuck. I'm just gonna bank this and come back. It's so weird, I don't know where the guy is. Unfortunately, despite getting some kits, he wasn't opening up much of his base. On the bright side, I'd managed to turn my location into a war zone. <laughs> I should not have killed that guy. I should be a dead man, what the? He's alive? Not anymore. Oh my word. I'm on a killing spree. I've got too many guns right now, man. What is going on? Oh, that guy got destroyed. Oh, fuck, I didn't know it could turn around like that. Oh, oh I'm so dead. Who says I can't PvP? What is going on? Shredding these guys. That guy's not having a good day. And with that, my time on the server was up. Unfortunately, I had to head back to university and wasn't able to see out the end of the wipe. And so, I decided to give away my loot to anyone that came to my base and said hi. It's always important to show some love, especially when you spent the whole wipe taking from others. For this wipe, I've been playing on my own Wilgem solo only server. If you want a competitive, high action solo server to play on, make sure you check them out in the links in the description. Alright, my time is up. Let's spread some love. I hope some people actually turn up. I'll be a bit disappointed. Hello! What would you like? You got some metal for me? Ah, <laughs> oh, it's you. Yeah, of course, man. I feel kind of bad about taking all your metal earlier. But, uh... Pull up. See ya. That's the charcoal you need, and... You can have that LR as well. Actually, you can have my whole kit. Hey, oh, don't kill him, don't kill him, don't kill him, no, 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 no. He's for the shop. He's for the shop. Welcome. Yo, yo, yo. I heard yes. free loot. Yes, sir. What would you like? What can I get you? I would like the world to be a happy place. Happy place. Happy well, world. I'm afraid happy I can't help you with that, peace. but I can give you some loot in game. So, what can I get for you? There you go. It's a bit of a surprise. Uh, Boonie hat as well. Nice. Gonna have an 8k. What else would you like? Is there anything? There you go. Hello. Can have some high qual. Oh shit. 
Yeah, take you. <laughs> hey, man, what's up? Hello, how can I help you? What can I get for you, man? Anything you need? Don't really need anything, man. Just wanted to say that I love your bits. Oh, thank you, man. I love you. I appreciate that, bro. Thank you for playing. Nah, thank you for watching, man. And uploading the last <laughs> no. Thanks, man. <laughs> oh, this is funny. Hey. Hello, is there anything you need? Um, I mean, I don't, I have like nothing. I really just am trying to get VPs. I just need like a explo bullet, really. Yeah, I can help you with that. Let me go grab you some explo. Take this kit as well for your travel. Oh yeah, wait, I, I was wondering, right? You, you used to play on uh, ultra wide, right? Yes, sir. Did you ever figure out a way to fix the issue with like aiming it with the Thompson and stuff? <laughs> nope, still messed up. I don't know how to fix that. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Hey, it's all good. You have a good day. Have a nice day, man. Uh. Guess he's come. What the fuck? Damn, he went straight to the vending machine. Alright, on the next rocket, I go out. Oh. And that's my solo journey in under 24 hours of rust. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you subscribe, leave a like and a comment, it really helps me out. Thank you to all of my patrons, you guys are amazing. And don't worry, the guy who raided me at the end asked for my permission because he knew I was heading off and he didn't do it in bad faith. With that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Wiljam, out.